Anduga is a high performance yoga brand and focuses on product innovation and education. Manduka learned about the story of uh, Vincent van Gogh and his challenges through his, uh, his mental health and how he was openly communicating those challenges and how he was looking for help. Vincent was born in 1853 in the small Brabant village of Zundert. His artistic career was actually short-lived. He started at the age of 27 and died only 10 years later at 37. The main area that we focused on with these paintings was this period where he was seeking help in Saint-Rémy. At that period, he painted over 100 paintings, and we chose the ones that kind of made the most sense to us, that were specifically focused on nature. Amongst those paintings are three wonderful studies after nature, Almond Blossom, the Irises, and Wild Roses. The Wild Roses is one of the first studies that he did after arriving in the mental health institution. For the first weeks, he wasn't allowed to leave the walled garden, so he searched for subjects within the garden, and there he found a bush of roses. The almond blossom was enlarged to uh, its biggest scale we've ever done, to the point that you could see every single brushstroke and paint mix. And so we decided to use that and apply it to a unique yoga mat, the Manduka round mat. And when placing it on that product, it became the crown jewel of the collection. Towards the end of his stay, he really hoped to start a new life for himself closer to Paris. And in order to start this life, he decided to paint a number of very ambitious bouquets, and the irises is one of them. The main message that we're trying to tell with this is inspiration, and one to invigorate everybody to communicate without repercussions about how they are feeling and if they need help. I think one of the most beautiful things we can learn from Van Gogh is to never give up and always keep on going. He kept painting against all odds and made 150 paintings in a very difficult year. So I think that's a beautiful thing to take with us.